Ladies and gentlemen, a hurricane is headed towards Florida. And the first thing that came to mind was all of the insurance companies that are pulling out of the state. And the people, not everybody, because, you know, a lot of people still got their insurance. And some people don't. So let's get into this story. So it is going to hit this week, ladies and gentlemen. So Hurricane Watch issued for Florida Gulf Coast as Idalia looms to south. So a newly formed tropical storm is forecast to enter the record warm Gulf of Mexico and strengthen to a Category 2 hurricane before striking Florida's Gulf Coast Tuesday night into Wednesday. The storm named Idalia, and it could rapidly intensify, probably coming ashore between Tampa Bay and Panama City. There are risks of life-threatening storm surge and hurricane force winds even beyond the National Hurricane Center forecast cone, which is the area whether the center of the storm is more likely to track. The Hurricane Center issued a hurricane and storm surge watches for large sections of Florida's Gulf Coast late Sunday afternoon. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis emphasized that many of those living in the storm's path will lose electricity for the, um, you know, so they may be out for a while. You know how it is. If it knocks out the power, it may be a few weeks before they can get you back up and running, which is why the state will position utility workers on Monday to respond DeSantis added that he has mobilized 1,100 National Guard members to help with storm preparedness and that most of the resources will be staged in the northern part of Florida and the inland areas of Marion County. So state officials emphasize the usual hurricane warnings, tie down whatever you can, bring in from your yard, um, have communication and evacuation plans, don't hoard food, you won't eat. As always, there are concerns about fuel, price gouging, but a mix up at the port of Tampa is making the problem worse. They do that. Look, they did that in my state after Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, they jacked up the price of water. I mean, you would think they would keep things down to, you know, at least help the citizens out, especially those that are the hardest hit by the storm. But, you know, greed always sets in and it trumps everything. You know how it is around here. Workers at the port accidentally switch diesel and gasoline in a shipment to Sitco. So they said this would cause uh, vehicles or generators using the fuel not to work properly. Wow, how do you make that mix up? Mm -mm -mm. Florida is seriously going through it. Wow, okay. So... The governor warned that everyone should be vigilant because the storm's path could shift from the Big Bend region of Florida panhandle with some models showing it may trend south. So there's a notable risk of rapid intensification while the system moves across the record warm eastern and northeastern Gulf of Mexico. The Hurricane Center cautioned Sunday morning. So the storm that begins with the letter I, which is often coincide with the peak of hurricane season, have a history 
of causing severe damage. They're talking about Irma and Ida and Ian. I know what they're talking about. So ahead of the storm, Saturday, DeSantis declared a state of emergency for 33 counties along the Gulf, Co uh, along the Gulf Coast. So it's Tampa, Panama City, Tallahassee, Pensacola, and Mobile, Alabama are all in the zone that needs to be closely watched. So the current projections suggest that a most likely spot for landfall could be around Big Ben of Florida. So, I mean, all they can do is give you computer models of what direction they think it's going to go in. So they're just telling everybody to just monitor the situation. But, you know, the usual things they always tell you, if you need to get out, then you need to get out of there, plain and simple. So they believe it's Tuesday into Wednesday. So the area under a hurricane watch spans from the north of Port Charlotte to just south of Panama City. A storm surge watch covers the area from just south of Naples to just south of Panama City. Sarasota and Tampa are both included in the hurricane and storm surge watch zones. So, mm -mm -mm. so the Sunshine State is at the greatest risk for impacts from the ocean surge, flooding rains, destructive winds, and tornadoes. But the storm could also deliver strong winds, heavy rain, and a risk of flooding to the southeast by Wednesday, including Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas. We always get remnants of this up in our area you know, just a few, and it will dump maybe an inch of rain. So the Hurricane Center, they're saying that Florida and the areas that are projected to get hit could see anywhere from three to six inches of rain. And it could actually be as high as 10 inches of rain for portions of Florida West Coast and the Panhandle, as well as Georgia falling mostly Tuesday into Wednesday. Heavy rains are expected to move over the Carolinas Wednesday into Thursday. Tropical storm warnings are already in effect from the Yucatan Peninsula and as well as the western tip of Cuba those areas will first experience the developing storm. So y'all, it looks like the hurricanes are coming and the tropical storms are coming and coming now. It seemed like it was a bit quiet in the beginning, but it is not quiet so much anymore. So those of you that live in these areas, please be careful. And if you have to evacuate, you should do so. So let me know how you're doing. If you happen to get hit or if you need any help, please reach out to me. I would deeply appreciate it and I will see what I can do for you. So everybody, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Amen.